Hello, and welcome to this lesson on how to uninstall your previous antivirus. It is important to do this because it is not necessary to have more than one antivirus running on the computer at one time. Doing so will cause problems like system instability, crashes, false positives, lockups, and even worse. I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is through programs and features, but sometimes this method does not remove the program completely and you will need to download the manufacturer's uninstaller to completely remove the program. In the things to remember section, there will be a document that you can open that will have links to the uninstallers of the most popular antivirus programs. To get to programs and features, the first thing we need to do is right click the Windows icon or press the Windows key and S to bring up the search. And then type in programs. And click add or remove programs. Once the page loads, we're going to go ahead and scroll through the list and look for the antivirus that we want to uninstall. In my case, I'm going to be uninstalling the Avast free antivirus. To do this, I simply need to click on the program I want to uninstall and then click uninstall. Uninstall again. Click yes on the prompt to allow the program to be uninstalled. And then follow the prompts to uninstall the program. After the uninstallation is complete, you will need to restart the computer for the changes to take effect. If you know the name of the antivirus program that you have installed on the computer, and there's a link available for it in the document, simply double click the link for it to open in your default browser, and then hit enter if necessary to start the download. You will see an indication letting you know that the file has been downloaded. If you do not see this indication, depending on what browser you're using, you can always go to the folder icon and then click download to access the downloads folder. And here you will see the program that just downloaded. Right click the program and choose run as administrator. Click yes on the prompts and then follow the on-screen instructions to uninstall the program. And that concludes our discussion for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.